Hello and welcome to Galaxy Advisors. The purpose of this video is to provide an example of Contra 3's Fetch Wikipedia Categories menu. Let's begin with an overview. This is a slide of Contra 3's main menu at a glance. There are seven menu items and I've listed here a very short description of the functionality of each menu item. Today's video is going to focus on the Fetch menu and then specifically we're going to look at fetching the Wikipedia categories. Now the first question is, well, what are Wikipedia categories? Well, first, let's recall Wikipedia is an encyclopedia of articles and in many, in many different languages. Wikipedia categories, along with other features like cross-references, lists, and info boxes, help you to find information even if you don't know what exists or what it is called. In short, Wikipedia categories helps you to understand how your topic or area of interest is classified and fits into a hierarchical tree structure of articles. You should know that Wikipedia categories only produces a static view. There is no dynamic view. So if we take a look at Wikipedia categories and you go to this URL which is located in the show more box beneath the video, um, you'll find that there are 12 general categories or content categories that Wikipedia has classified all their millions of articles into. So let's take a look at that hierarchical tree structure. So that if you were to add the 12 main content categories and you clicked on one of those categories, it's going to take you to a subcategory. In this example, I've clicked on Society and Social Sciences, which again was one of the 12 main categories. It opens up another window of the subcategories. Then Linguistics is a part of that. So Linguistics is a subcategory, Society and Social Sciences, and has 71 subcategories. Then if I choose one of those linguistic subcategories, I've chosen quantitative linguistics. I find that that, that quantitative linguistics subcategory has 21 pages attached to it. So now you can kind of see overall how your topic fits into a larger category classification tree structure. The Fetch then, if we come back to the Conjure menu and click Fetch, one of the options at the very bottom is Fetch Wikipedia Categories. And then we're going to get three fundamentally windows that we're going to be stepping through. We assume that you've either created a database or switched to one. You've created a new data set or opened one. So the first three things is you're going to get a data set that you're going to store your wiki categories in. You're going to fill out some options on the language category in depth wiki uh, options page and then you're going to get a process message why it processes and retrieves those categories that you've um, selected. So a little more in depth then looking at these options in language there are three choices of English, German, or Spanish. In a category um, you can put in the category and I suggest you take a look at the contents category page to see uh, have a feel for what the categories are and uh, that link again as all the other links in this video are under the show more um, box. Uh, depth, depth really means the maximum number of steps from a category that you've chosen. So the root category that you've put in is at depth one and first pages and subcategories are depth two. A uh, directed tree, we uh, recommend that you check this uh, so that their pages with several parents or multiple copies result in a directed tree. So it gives you that kind of tree or network structure here. Another tip is uh, a helpful Wikipedia links are a category tree page, a special page that Wikipedia has that kind of shows you the tree structure once you put in a category name. And then finally for other general searching tips within Wikipedia, suggest you go to help colon searching within Wikipedia. Again, all these links are in the show more box beneath the video. So Wikipedia's category tree is really pretty neat. You can put in a category, and I put in here, for example, linguistics, and then click show more, um, then a show tree, and then it'll actually then kind of shows you that tree structure that you have um, related to that. Again, um, the point is using Wikipedia categories to search for information of that's how does it fall in the classification, what is near to it, what are, might be other possible topics that you want to explore around your area of interest. 
So given that you have a, a graph that you're mapping, uh, Condor has three GUI controls available then to um, explore that graph. The first one is the graph toolbar that I've indicated here in red above the graph. You can relay out the graph. You can show arrows. You can pick a single node or edge. You can grab the whole graph and move it around. On the right, you have the located in blue here are the node and edge pick menus to change the color shape or labels uh, on your graph and then finally you have I indicated here in yellow the third option the keypad gesture so you can take two fingers zoom in zoom out you can right click on the individual node and show more details and if you hover your cursor over an individual node the node information will be displayed in the lower right corner so again, these three controls in combination give you a lot of variety of exploring your graph. Uh, overall, uh, let's, it's important to know the sequence of how to use the Condor um, uh, main menu. Remember, Condor doesn't require any programming for an individual user. However, it's really important to understand the typical sequence that the user goes through in analyzing their data. Um, overall, the, the menu is laid out from <laughs> left to right. So you start in the file and then you kind of proceed to the right. I've indicated file with a 2 because you really touch the file menu twice at each Condor session. You choose file and then you begin with a switching to a database or creating a new database then you go back and touch the file menu again for data set and you create a new data set or open an existing one and then in this case we're going to use the fetch menu next uh, here to create um, in, um, um, collect the Wikipedia categories then you were going to use the view menu to view it and then I've indicated here in these three uh, red arrows you kind of toggle back and forth from the view menu to the process data set then you might want to calculate some annotation statistics such as betweenness uh, closeness or degree go back and view that how those notes look when you have those um, available to resize um, the individual notes in a graph you might go back and remove certain uh, notes in the process data set or you might go back to analyze and collapse an individual graph until its domain so I'm looking at .org, .edu, .net and those interactions I can go back to the view menu save an edited data set I can take screenshots of the visualization I can also export some of the graphs that I have so again this is a kind of a typical sequence of moving around these seven menu items I can also use the export menu if I wish to export the data as an actor or link CSV files or take a really look at uh, exporting some of the data set properties. I might also want to go all the way back to the file menu and export the data set as a Condor data file or .cdf file. I can use that as a backup. I can share it with other my colleagues or I can actually move it to another computer. Or finally, I might want to use the file menu and restart again, open that data set, and use the multifunctioning uh, filtering that uh, Condor has to explore the graph by some initial filtering. So let's begin looking at Fetch Wikipedia categories example step by step or click by click. First step is start MySQL if you have not already started it. Step two, start Condor 3. Step three on the main menu, click File, Create New Database. And step four, enter a database name such as I have Wikicat. The important thing about a database name is that it's short, has no spaces, and no special characters, although you can use the underscore. Once you have a database name in there, click OK. In step five on the main menu, click File, Dataset, New Dataset. Again, enter dataset name, such as Wikicat, then click OK. Same rules apply. Make the name short, uh, have no spaces, and uh, use no special characters, although you can use the underscore. At that point, click Next. Your data set then will appear with a green check mark next to it in the upper left corner, and that indicates this is the active data set. Then in step 7 on the main menu, click Fetch, Fetch Wikipedia Categories, and the Wikipedia Categories fetchers will select your new data set, and then simply click Next. In step 9, here's where we fill in our Fetch Wikipedia Category options. Uh, first one is language. I've selected English. In the category, I put in linguistics as my category, and I select maximum depth at 3. Again, that first root linguistics is going to be at depth 1, and then it's going to go two depths below that 
um, for the individual category trees. Then I simply click Next. Now in this particular search, it resulted in 23,322 notes and 23,321 links. Um, a tip is to review the wiki category structure to help determine your starting category. You may say, well, which one? How did you know that? Well, I kind of explored that wiki category tree structure beforehand and decided that I was interested in linguistics. And for again, you can take a look at the portal contents categories to get a good idea. Here, after I viewed it, um, I ch changed the color of the nodes and I chose node type so I could see which of these nodes are wiki pages and which are wiki categories. And then I right clicked on the linguistic, which was my search category, to find out where it is. So again, you, this is a way in which you can explore uh, what are those categories and neighborhoods around your uh, topic or area interest. Here I zoomed in. I put in quantitative linguistics. That was another area that I was interested in. And I actually put it in the search text box and it highlighted those nodes that had quantitative linguistics in uh, the node name. I then further then uh, went to the uh, pick menu and chose to put the a node name so I highlighted so I could see all the node names and then I was in particularly interested in George Kingley Ziff a university um, a Harvard professor um, in um, the early uh, 20th century who did a lot of uh, quantitative linguistic um, research and then if you're interested a tip here is if you find oh I see this page how do I actually go to that page in Wikipedia is to hover your cursor over that note or click on it and then um, copy the title uh, in this case George Kingsley Ziff and paste that into the Wikipedia search box so I indicated here that I've uh, highlighted the node I've gone over to the node details and double clicked on and copied it in um, or you can just um, uh, go to a Wikipedia search page and type in the title and then once you hit search it will find that individual page is retrieved. So uh, again a good way in which to continue to explore down to the page level with Wikipedia in Condor. Again the basic process steps although again Condor requires no programming. Again this is a typical sequence of the file touch it twice, fetch, view it, iterate back and forth between process data set and analyze, get exported, uh, then your final data if you wish. Uh, again, this uh, video has helped to explain um, the fetch menu and the fetch menu option of Wikipedia categories. We hope that the Wikipedia categories um, pr provides uh, an enhanced way to explore your area of interest and to have a wider view of the neighborhood of articles in Wikipedia that might be of interest to you. Good luck.